Should Dash, the new 2.2 level, go from an insane rating to a harder rating? The level starts off with some easy jumps, although what's noteworthy is the new camera setting. This can definitely throw new players off or just new players to the level altogether. This then chucks us into this section that I'll call just the blender. We have to show click discipline as a lot of this is just chucking us onto walls without our input. Then here is actually something that we saw on the sneak peek with the coin being the exact same way that we saw on Rob Top's video. Then this swing copter, I'm not going to be slowing down or analysing everything. I think that the swing copter in this level is extremely easy. Although then what gets harder is the fact that it chucks us into multiple camera movements. In real time, this can definitely throw some new players off, which is what you're seeing on screen right now. Then with no break, we get sent into an easy ball section that gets harder because of the camera settings, which is what you're seeing. New players are probably going to hate this. Then we get put into another swing section where the coin is actually where the difficulty starts stems from here. This is easily one of Rob Top's hardest coin placements. I mean, I'm up for the challenge, but we're talking about difficulty here. Then for the spider, the camera movement literally does nothing. Then for this dash orb section, this is reminiscent of finger dash. Then for these spider orbs, I believe they're called. I'm not sure they're like official name. That's new, although easy. Then for this platformer-esque level where the camera doesn't move until the very end, the only issue that you can truly find is hitting your head on those spike blocks there. Although I only died there once, so that's not that big of a deal. And then after you collect the one, by just clicking, you get the next coin, so that's not that big of a deal at all. Then for the beginning of this ship segment, easy. Although what's definitely noteworthy here is that this ship section looks easier than it actually is. It's not awfully difficult, although what you'll find is you'll have to let go when you think that you need to press just because of the speed that you end up getting. Then here, it's a cool fan with the camera design, but it's not difficult. And then I'm actually not going to cut my voice here because all this does here is just transitions us into a Mario camera movement with the tower-esque area. And the only issue that you could possibly fine is the wave section here not being you know an auto scroll and being stagnant instead although in real time as you just saw it's not that big of a deal couple of inputs left and then boom the level is done level complete so now that I've discussed my opinion on Dash's difficulty, let's compare Dash to some other insane levels by Rob Top. So X step not a very good comparison to start us off with so that's why I started us off with it because except should honestly be downgraded to a harder. It blows my mind that it's not yet, and Robtop should really change that. Next up, we have Clutterfunk. Clutterfunk is easily one of the hardest Robtop levels in the game. It's been like that for ages, and 2.2 is no exception. Dash is not even close to Clutterfunk. We get introduced to minis, we get introduced to awkward gameplay, and in general, just really tight spaces that new players will suffer on. Now, comparing Dash to Theory of everything is definitely there. It's, it's, this is a fair comparison here. If you think that theory of everything is insane, well then Dash needs to just stay insane. I believe that these levels, they're not exactly the same in difficulty. You know, theory of everything definitely has its ups and downs, just like Dash. You know, they're, they're pretty easy levels and they're pretty balanced levels, but you know, there's always that area that you might get stuck on. Although, yeah, if compared to Clutterfunk or compared to X-Step, you know, this is, this is a fair comparison here. Next up, we have another unfair comparison, with this time being Electroman Adventures being easier than Dash, by a long shot in my personal opinion. I don't know why this isn't harder. It, it, insane ratings do not help build value to a level. I'm just, I'm surprised that Robtop hasn't downgraded this. Next up, we have Electrodynamics. Now, if you know anything about the community when it comes to Electrodynamics, a lot of them are torn thinking that it's a demon. So to compare this to Dash is outrageous. You know, you obviously have these crazy timed jumps for a Robtop level, of course. Not, not, not talking about online here. And then you have the Notorious 3 speed ship you know enough said okay we've already heard enough about electrodynamic next up we have hexagon force i think the hexagon force is a little bit harder although the comparison is definitely there you know you do have some confusing dual bits although you can definitely say that that's equivalent to a new mode like the swing for example right so yeah i don't know hexagon force is noticeably harder it has its ups and downs although dash at times can definitely draw this comparison so to end off the insane comparisons we have finger dash which i believe is one to one the exact same gameplay difficulty as dash 
where you have slow spiders to start us off, we have easy camera movements to ease us into dash. Where you have those boring sections, now that we've gotten used to the level, such as the robot here, we have, for example, the stagnant camera section. And then the difficulty areas, like some weird timed ship segments, similar to the ending with the spider. So in this video, we analyzed Dash, of course, and we compared it to seven insane levels made by Robtop. And what I found with just using the eye test, of course, because that's the only benchmark that you can really use, Dash ended up being harder than the minority. So three of seven of the insane levels. So after the analysis, after the opinions getting thrown at you guys as if they're in the, the only right thing in the world, should Dash be downgraded? I'm gonna have to say no, because although I think that Finger Dash should be downgraded, and I think that Electro Man Adventures should be downgraded, the thing is with Dash is that there's so many new things getting thrown at you with just primarily the camera and the swing. It's going to overload new players, and the fact that this is an accessible level no matter where you've started off in the game because it's not locked by coins this is definitely something to factor in i don't think that dash should be downgraded now this whole video idea might have rung a bell i know that this isn't a unique thing although with all the youtube shorts that you're seeing on screen right now people are questioning me all the time on my community post colors gaming dude where's the new youtube shorts at in general and obviously where is the dash should be downgraded video well, here it is. I quit YouTube Shorts. I'm going to publicly say on a YouTube video now, guys. I've quit YouTube Shorts. It's done now. I'm going to put my shorts into long-form videos. I'm not going to remake YouTube Shorts. I'm just going to do an starting now type of thing, right? So if you guys enjoyed today's video, it would be a big help to smash the like button, subscribe, and to let me know if you disagree, agree, or you just don't really care on a topic like this. Like literally any opinion in the comment section below, I would be open to hearing out. This has been Colors Gaming. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.